Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans with StampinWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So welcome to my YouTube and my Facebook Live. Um, normally I would be doing this on a Saturday um, because this is card sketch um, and it's card sketch number 194. Uh, I wasn't here yesterday because we had our huge international stamp camp that we had demonstrators from all over the world. And um, the ladies did um, 13 make and takes plus 13 additional pro um, projects if they wanted to. In any event, I'm here today with card sketch number 194 and we're going to use some new stuff. So I'm hoping people will join me today. If not, I'll carry on and I'll go forward. Remember, this is part of a live. So by it being a live, what I basically do is um, I will be talking with different people as they do join me. And if you don't like that sort of stuff, just watch it on the replay and go through. Uh, remember that also, um, this is part, like I say, of um, a, a card sketch. So you can enter your interpretation of the card sketch. And on a monthly basis, I do draw names randomly. And if you live in BC, it could be a product that I'm sending you or not BC in Canada. Or if you live outside of Canada, I could send you a tutorial as well. And there's a really, really nice tutorial that is available right now. So. Let's scoot on down to my desktop here. Hello, Holly in Wyoming. And hello, good morning. Like I say, I if you are on Facebook and you haven't given StreamYard permission, I don't know who you are until afterwards, but I'll go in afterwards. Or you can just jot down your name and we'll see what's going on there. This is a landscape card. I know I don't normally do landscape cards when I do uh, my sketches. Um, but the odd time you kind of have to. And with this particular one, I've got an idea with what I'm going to do here. And unfortunately, you can't really see this sentimental uh, or the sentiment um, layer on here. I didn't do that very well, but um, the, the measurements are here. One thing I'd like to explain is my regular card base is the finished card base on here. And then these are, and I, you know what, I'll just bring this stuff in and you can kind of see some of the stuff. So my card base is a regular card base, but then I have two at one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths, and that's this particular size. And then there's two there, and then I have two pieces of DSP that are on there, and then I've got this piece that's one and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Now, I decided with this particular one, what I was going to do was I wanted to make a fun fold with it, um, and not that it's one that. Um, you know, it's it's just a matter that I thought this was conducive to a fun vote. Hello, Pam and Kay. Oh, from Valley View. That must be Marilyn. I'm pretty sure um, that's Marilyn. And hello, Kathy from Minnesota. Awesome. I don't know about you guys, but it is snowing like crazy here in Kamloops. And it's that wet, awful stuff. And we never have that wet stuff. So after this, I'm going to have to brave it and go out. And probably what's going to happen is that it's going to take me two or three swipes to do it. Be but it's still snowing um, because it's so heavy. All right. So as I promised, I could move it up a bit. Is that good enough? Uh, I'm not sure, um, and I have no idea who that is. Hello, Christine and Renee. Awesome. So what I'm doing with this particular stuff is I'm going to use something that's new, and this is a brand new thing from Online Exclusives, and this is something that's going to be coming out and available at, uh, to non-demonstrators as of March the 5th. It is available right now. It's called the Simply Zinnia. And honestly, these look so much like zinnias. And from Kamloops here, we can plant these when it's really warm outside and they can be up within a day or two. They germinate that quickly. So beautiful images here. There's dyes that go along with it. And then there's this embossing folder. It's a zinnia uh, 3D embossing folder. It's very pretty as well. Oh, Marilyn is asking. Okay, and then... Also, I've got to show you this designer series paper. Check it out. I love this piece. This is the piece we're going to use today. Um, probably going to go through that right off 
very beginning. And the colors that are in here are, and I should have brought that out there. And I'll show you, there's so many different colors in here. There is um, Berry Burst in there. There's Blackberry Bliss in there. There's Flirty Flamingo. Oh, that was the color. Highland Heather's in there. Lemon Lime Twist. Lemon Lolly. Melon Mambo. Mossy Meadow. Old Olive. Petal Pink. Pumpkin Pie and Real Red. Like, honestly, it, it's almost like it has the whole, um, all the colors in there. It doesn't. We know that. But you know what I mean? But here they are in these beautiful things. I love this one. This one's really, really pretty as well. Really nice background with these zinnias here. And then a smaller one there. And then another big one. And I'll turn them over. And I always like to see the back part of it. And here it is here. And here's that pumpkin pie. I was quite shocked at that. I really like this, this purple one that's here as well. It's Highland Heather and it looks like Blackberry Bliss on there. There's some petal pink in there. Anyways, beautiful, beautiful designer series paper that we can uh, play with. I was, I was a little intimidated with it because of all the bright, bright colors. Because as most of you might know, if you do watch me an awful lot, is... I am really into the subtles, but I decided today what we're going to do, hello Betty, is um, I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss. I thought this would be such a fun color to use that I haven't used in such a long time. And I was trying to find my, my cutting, my trimmer, and it's all right. I can show you what I did. Now, with this particular sketch, like I say, it has these two panels that are there. But what I did was I went and I cut this. Um, I think we'll just go in here. I'm going to need this piece here. Um, I went and I cut this. This is like the landscape um, card. And I cut this piece. So I went down here and I trimmed this piece down one and a half inches. And then on this part here on the front, I went and I scored it at two and an eighth. So I thought what I'd do is I am going to make this into an easel card. And that's not very good because you can't even see um, that very good with the um, Blackberry Bliss. But you'll see it once it starts coming together. So I thought it would be nice to have an easel card. It's going to kind of switch it up and change the look of what the paper actually looks like. So, and I've never used this color combination before. I am going to use, um, this is Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, and then I've got these two pieces. And remember I said I really like these pieces here. I cut them, and then we're going to have it where you're going to see part of the card like this. And then we're going to use it as an easel fold card. And it'll come up there. I think it'll work. Boy, I'm really taking my chances, aren't I? Going live, and I think it's going to work. All right, so on this piece here that I did cut, which I'm just going to come, and I'm actually going to glue that right down to the card base. It's just going to go like that. It is, Betty. This is really different for me. You know, I'm tending more to the brights. I'm starting to get to the brights. But what do you do when you have this beautiful paper? You've got to do something with it, right? I couldn't turn around and use subtles with this. Like I say, zinnias are these bright, bright colors. And I usually have, I don't have a garden. Um, I have zero scaping in my front and I do pot planting because I have so many um, cedars around my house and yes I know they're a fire hazard um, but I have so many around my house that what I do I, I can't really plant in the ground so um, I use I do pot planting and zinnias you can throw in a package of seeds to three pots and they come up really nice. I use the miniature ones and they're all these beautiful different colors. Right. So these two pieces are one and three quarters by three and three quarters. 
and I put them on the base that is one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. This will be posting, well, it's scheduled to go at 345, at 345, 1045. Also, just after 11, we'll, I finally posted, randomly drew the names for the sketch and the mystery challenge last for last month. So see how that still kind of goes together and you can see this. Um, I used Garden Green yesterday. Let me show you. I did a sketch. This was a sketch challenge from our um, international um, stamp camp. And see, look at that Garden Green there. So there's my sketch from the other day. And I have Garden Green in there. So there you go, Betty. I, I opted to the Garden Green more so than the Poppy Parade in there. All right. So this is just going to go on this part here and then this is going to go on the bottom there and then like I say we're going to do it like a, a um, measle card. All right so let me just come and put this part on. So this part's going to go up on the top and I think I have to because it's so dark. Got to just put it in there. Just like that. I'm loving this. I do like Blackberry Bliss. Um, once they moved it from um, the dark regal colors to the neutral. Um, but I haven't used it. So this is a good excuse to use it because it's in this paper. So this is just going to go right down here. Now, I know that that's a bit more of a gap that you normally would put in there. However, when you go and you use it as an easel, that's why I had to do it that way. All right. So then I also took some berry burst. And this one happens to be, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I took my mat off yesterday um, because of the stamp camp. And and this one's one and an eighth by one and an eighth by four. And I ran this one through that marigold embossing folder and I thought that would look really pretty there. Hello, Cindy. And you did catch me live. That's awesome. And you shared. Thank you, Cindy. You don't know how much I appreciate that. When you do share my video, it basically gets out to different people that may not see it. And also it helps my um, YouTube ana analytics or <laughs> algograms. Oh my goodness. It's Sunday, you guys. After a very, very long day. And we did our sip and stamp last night. So, so see how that goes like that. You want to make sure that's good and down. I also have a piece that I cut. This is four by three and three quarters. And that's going to go in here. And we'll decorate that in such a way. But see how that's going to come up there on that easel. I think that's going to look really pretty. A really different type of card. That's for sure. Now what I thought I could do is I could take this larger image here. And I'm going to take the memento. And I'm not going to color... I, I have to practice a little bit more on the coloring on this because honestly, I, when I tried doing some coloring the other day, I couldn't quite get it the way I wanted it to go. But isn't that pretty? Oh, you know what? I did mean to stamp it differently. That's okay. All right, so now we have the sentiment piece and this piece happens to be one inch by three and three eighths. And this has a big sentiment in here. Words fail to express my gratitude. What a great um, sentiment. So it's a big one. So let's just stamp that. I'm going to bring this over here so I can see. There we go. And then I also thought that this would look really good. I have this 
the larger zinnia. And I thought this would look okay. Just down in the corner here. Just like that. Just a tiny little bit in there. So then when this is put on here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it put, it's going to go there, but what I'm, I can't pop the whole thing up. I can only pop it up along one side. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take these, my mini dimensionals. Ah, uh, thanks, Cindy. Well, it just, you know, instead of just being a flat card, we can now make it into a different type of a card, right? Um, we can make it into a fun fold. That's the difference usually when you do a landscape card. You can usually do that. Okay. Hello, Patricia. Western New York. That Your whole area of the world is on my bucket list. That is for sure. I'm just going to put this on here like this. And then we can just put this right here. Now, maybe it needs a tiny bit of something. Whoops, that's no, no good. It's going to come on here like this. I do it like that. And then this piece here. Now, I'm thinking to myself that I really should try to color this. And, you know, I don't think this would be bad if I go ahead and I do it in the petal pink. And then I'm going to put some, there's no Blackberry Bliss. We don't have um, a marker with Blackberry Bliss in it. But we do have um, a marker with the Berry Burst in it. Um, and I find for leaves, I really like the old olive color. I think it takes up an awful lot. I could use the Mossy Meadow. This one is one of those ones. I think I'm going to have to use the other side. So what are you up to this fine Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday? Honestly, I really do like football. Um, and for those down in uh, the United States, you may not know that there's Canadian and American type football, different rules. Um, I happen to like American football better. My son was a kicker, so that at least gives us um, four downs. Um, and when you're a mom sitting in the stands watching the university um, football, you don't want your son out on that field that often. Well, you do, but it's very nerve-wracking as, as a parent. It's like a goalie, right, on a thing there. Now, I'm wondering, could I get away with maybe Flirty Flamingo? Let's see what that would look like. Ooh, maybe not. Oh, yeah. That's actually quite pretty with the petal pink. I'm going to put some of that yellow in there, too. I'm not taking too much time. I probably should take more time with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, a relaxing. Oh, you're doing relaxing. So did you get all your projects done from the stamp camp, Betty? Um, I know some of my team did. Um, and good on them. I, I don't know if I would get it all done. I guess if I set a goal, I would get it done. All right, so I'm just going to come in and just put a bit more of this flirty flamingo in there. That looks kind of pretty. Um, and then I really need some yellow in there. And I think I might use the lemon lolly. Just a tiny bit to get in there. Not a lot. Okay. So then this is just going to go in here. And you know what? I didn't even think of, oh my goodness, I've got to have something to pop, prop that up with. Probably going to have to rethink this one. Oh, I know what I could do. I could do something else here. Just like that. I could have also gone in. 
there that can go like that. And then there's this saying that says, thank you so much. Kind of goes along with that, right? And I have this other piece here, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Oh, that's a pretty font. It's a really pretty font. You know, if I was smart, that would have been done differently. Who said I was smart, right? Oh, my goodness. Um, that's going to be... Okay, let's see what we've got here. Hello, Laura. Um, you're working, Pam. Patricia loves zinnias. Yes. Um, who am I rooting for today? Oh, my goodness. Do I dare say? Um, oh, I know this is a big controversy. Um, I could say something that I think is funny, but I don't know how many people would find it funny. But um, I'm not rooting for Taylor Swift. How's that? I know that sounds bad, but I just think it's been too commercialized as far as that part goes. My dude it is that kind of a thing. Um, now, what I can do too is put that on the very first to bring that color on the inside. You know what? Honestly, my team's not playing, so it doesn't matter. How's that? I know I've got, uh, I, I'm in on a... Um, I have a, um, I'm in on a draw, so, um, you're working on some cards while the game's on. Honestly, I like football, so I will, I, I've got some stuff I'm going to do, um, for on stage Rotterdam. I have some, um, some swaps that I have that I'm going to probably sit and watch it while I'm doing the swaps. Now, you know what? That is so crooked. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm... Um, I don't have any place to go. I wish I did because I really enjoy Super Bowl food. <laughs> Oh, you're going to watch a movie. Okay. And do some fussy cutting. Um, you had two boys in rodeo. Saddle bronc. Oh, my goodness. And bareback. Woof. See? Yeah. I, yeah, it's, it's very nerve wracking when you have kids in, in those kind of sports. That's for sure. Oh, you're going to Kansas City, not because of Taylor Swift. Well, I'll tell you something. My granddaughter is all about Kansas City, and she's actually a Raiders fan. But now that the Raiders aren't in there, but she's a Swifty. So there you go. I mean, you can't begrudge that. But to me, it's just a little bit overboard with all of it. Like, honestly, it's all about those two and it's not about the other players that's the part that that upsets me because there's some there's how many other players are on the team right i guess the team likes it but anyways i should just keep my mouth shut about it um but yeah i'm not even a 49ers fan either so that's why i say we'll root for next year all right so we have that to go in there so because I put those flowers on that side, I'm actually going to put this over here. So see how I'm going to do that? I'm going to put that over there to do that. And I'm going to pop up more dimensionals. I've been too busy talking, so. I know. You know, Renee, it goes on my nerves too, but. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'd rather see um, Kelsey's mom. Anyways, because I remember what it was like at those football games. So this is just going to pop up here. 
So that's how that card's going to go. See how we've turned this whole, oh, and I've stamped all over it, this, this um, sketch into a totally different card. But see, it matches the sketch, but we're not done yet because we've got to embellish, right? Now, this um, Zinnia um, suite does come with some really pretty bright um, embellishments. And these are the embellishments. But guess what? I know. Oh, yes. See, we all know what it's like to have our kids in sports, right? So these are those purple gems. And these are Blackberry Bliss. So guess what? I'm going to use those on this card. And then that way I can use them those embellishments so let's just put those there and another one and I think we can do it why don't we put it down there and that'll kind of doesn't that'll that'll be okay <laughs> oh, thank goodness you guys oh I just like I say I like Super Bowl food so I did buy myself some snacks so that I can fussy cut and, or uh, yeah, I've got to get these, these things done for these, these swaps that I'm doing and all in Europe, because we're going to Rotterdam, they do 3d um, swaps. So I won't be taking any cards. Um, their cards are different sizes than ours anyways, and they won't fit into our envelopes. So I just as soon have my other thing. Oh, you're ordering this suite today. Mm hmm. Yeah. So it's just an easy easel card using that beautiful designer series paper. And another way to use that paper, um, I have the other piece that's down at the bottom that I can use somewhere else because I actually cut it four by six. So see, this is the other piece that's down there. So I'm using the parts that a lot of people think, oh, I can't use that top part. Now I can turn a, turn around and use this on something else, right? So awesome, you guys. So don't forget to make sure that you do go ahead and put that, you know, um, make sure there's a link to my Facebook group and make sure that you go and put your, um, your interpretation of this like I say and I'm also announcing last month I'm a little late um last month's uh winners uh or and they were random draw winners um and if I don't have and I'm pretty sure I don't have um one of the people's address in there but just reach out to that yes I have a very funny feeling oh and just to let you know this is part of the um suite that we're using for your creativity awaits next month so that all that information is going to come out ah uh, thank you thank you so much yeah i think it's going to be a popular suite as well anyways all right you guys we'll see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock uh, pacific that's where i do a 3d project or i do um a fancy fold card um so that's 11 o'clock pacific time i hope you can join me um and uh if you like this, give me the thumbs up, share my video. I really do appreciate it when you do do that. And also, um, if you live in Canada, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Remember to create because it's great for the soul. And happy Super Bowl, no matter what you do on Super Bowl Sunday. Bye for now.